Thanks for joining us for 10 Tampa Bay This Weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. Tonight, thousands flock to Ybor City for the Santiago Night Parade. The crew is celebrating its 50th full year, and despite threats of severe weather throughout the area, rain on the parade didn't stop them from paying homage to the tradition. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio takes us there. Two weeks after Gasparilla, the party isn't over yet, with more than 100 floats passing through Ybor City and somewhere near 100,000 people in town. Ybor City is awake enough every weekend, but the night parade brought more life to the streets. We love it! We're having a fun time! All these people! <laughs> floats fit for royalty grace 7th Avenue. Yes, I love it. I love the floats so much. They're so cool. With pirates on a scavenger hunt for treasure. But on top of the pirate fashion. An umbrella and perhaps a poncho was also in style. It's okay, it's just rain, it's just water. But clearly, they didn't mind. No. Not at all! These pirates are meant to withstand all the elements. <laughs> the crowd grew more vibrant as each float blared through every block. But there is purpose behind all the celebrations. The crew pays homage to Tampa's Latin heritage. I love the fact that there's something historic about Ebor. And proceeds give back to students' education. I'm thankful that my crew brothers let me do this. This year's king, known as El Rey, honored to carry on his grandfather's legacy. He was one of the crew's founding fathers. It's been an interesting, you know, 50 years. Crowds are expecting this tradition to grow as the Knights look forward to their next 50 years. We have been coming here for years and we can't miss it. Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay. And organizers say the group has provided $4 million worth of scholarships for students since 1994. 